Hi. Now, in this video of CSS3, we will discuss about multiple columns. When I say multiple columns, I exactly don't mean tables. Basically, what we are going to do here, like for example, we have a bigger paragraph and I want to show that in my web page, but since it is bigger in size, I would like to break it in the multiple columns as maybe you read the newspaper the bigger text is class divided in the different columns so that is how we are trying to do here as well so using the three css3 three options we will get the multiple columns option so let's see practically how to make the multiple columns for a bigger paragraph all right so here in the multi column what i am doing is first of all i have created a class with the name multi which later I am applying in a paragraph or div whatever which will contain this list this content so whichever content you are putting inside will be splitted in the columns how many columns here I have specified the column count as 3 and column gap will be 40 pixel so only two properties have been set alright column count which is 3 and column gap means what will be the gap between all the columns that will be 40 pixel to make it easy to read so as we were doing earlier we are taking the compatibility of all the different browsers so let's save it come to the browser refresh and here you can see all the content is classified is divided equally in the three columns alright if you want to give some separator in between you can do that as well by simply using the column rule style alright so it is solid so as soon as you will do that there will be a separator a solid separator amongst the column so these are the things which you can perform using the multi column in CSS3